Hey guys, Nick here, and today let's talk about Jibo, the world's first family robot that when released will have a range of abilities to make it the perfect companion around the house. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Cynthia Brazil, an MIT professor and one of the pioneers of social robotics, spearheaded the Jibo operation. The robot, which will cost around $500 when released, will be able to tell bedtime stories, take photos when you pose, employ messaging and video calling, and provide reminders for calendar entries. Sitting at 11 inches tall, Jibo weighs 6 pounds and is made mostly of aluminum and white plastic. His face is a 5.7 inch 1920 by 1080 touchscreen equipped with stereo cameras, speakers, and microphones. Each part of his body can also be motor driven through 360 degrees. It's all sensitive, meaning that you can interact with Jibo by poking his belly or patting him on the head. Its hardware is pretty impressive for $500, but the real magic of Jibo lies in its software. Jibo can recognize and track the faces of family members, allow for language input from anywhere in the room, and proactively help when it recognizes you're doing a task that it can help with. He's the world's best cameraman. By intelligently tracking the action around him, he can independently take video and photos, so that you can put down your camera and be a part of the scene. Perhaps most importantly though, is that Jibo's operating system is being built from the ground up to be extensible with apps. Jibo will come ship with many default applications, but there's also an SDK that allows developers to create and sell their own to add to the robot's functionality. And if you don't think that Jibo is a commercially plausible product, in the time when I'm filming this video, Jibo has already raised $208,000 when its previous crowdfunding goal was only $100,000. So I'm pretty sure the world's first family robot will come to market. Now getting to the less concrete stuff, put aside all the tech and nifty hardware, and think whether or not you're really going to enjoy having a family robot. I think that most people do indeed look for this omniscient robot that there's there when you really need it, but we also don't want some static robot that provides questionable usefulness for a limited set of tasks. As always with stuff like this, I think it'll come down to Jibo's usefulness and how interactive it can truly be. But who knows, hopefully Brazil and her team have cracked the code and Jibo can really change the industry. Either way, give it some time and let's see where this goes. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.